Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Mark Ben again. It's been a little bit since we made a video, so we've been taking time this time around to see exactly where we want to go. Today we're going to be shooting a couple different videos. This one is going to be some tips for the new drivers or drivers with a trainer or people thinking about coming into the trucking industry. I have two major tips for you. The first tip is to turn the GPS off. Even if the trainer tells you to use it, turn it off, make him teach you or learn how to route yourself via the Atlas for at least your first two or three trips. It's a must. Then use your GPS. But once you start using your GPS, don't throw the Atlas away. Don't throw it in the bunk and forget it's there. They're both two really good tools to use to make your trip planning and your trip for each load a better experience. As an example, you put in on your GPS your routing, it gives you a routing. Even truck GPS is only as good as the information put into them. So it may have glitched, may have, you may, it, may, it may not have been updated. A hundred different things could be wrong and it may send you someplace with a low clearance. Well, you would never know that unless you grabbed your Atlas and you double checked your routing. This, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is the problem. Too many people rely on one tool to do the job when you got multiple tools. Remember in school, you were to always told double check your work. That's all you're doing here and it ensures your safety, the safety of others, and it make your trip more pleasurable. You'll know the route that you're taking is a truck route. No low clearances, no low bridges, no, uh, uh, if you're oversized, if you happen to be oversized, which you shouldn't be if you're training, but you know, it, it, it'll help you route yourself that way. It'll also make your trip a little more relaxed. You'll know the route is a truck route. You'll have seen down the GPS and the map. You have traced it down. When I trained, I made my students write down the exits they're going to take. I made them plan for a minimal distance to make today and a maximum distance to make today and figure out where they're going to stop at those two points. So you, have, so you have planned stops. It makes for a more relaxing drive. Then you can actually just drive and enjoy the drive. You're not stressing out on where you're going to stop. Where's the next truck stop at? Well, because you've already done your due diligence. You've planned it out. You know that if you start off in Amarillo, Texas, the minimal spot you want to make it to is, say, Holbrook, Arizona. And the farthest you want to make it to is... Uh, Kingman, Arizona, depending on the speed that you're traveling. You already know that that's your area to stop in to where you can get up the next day and travel as much as you need to to make your delivery on time. So there's no stress on wondering where you're going to stop. No worrying about it. Is there going to be parking? Am I going to make it there on time? The other thing that it does is when the GPS goes out. Uh-oh. We've never looked at an atlas before. Or we don't know how to read an atlas properly. Now, what are we gonna do? Go spend three, four hundred dollars? Well, what if you don't? Get, what if it's Tuesday? You just paid all your bills and you don't get paid again until uh, next Monday or Friday. You have to read that atlas. You have to use the atlas. All it will do is enhance your experiences on the road. The second tip I want to give you is make your trainer teach you how to drive that truck without a jake brake. You can teach yourself how to drive with a jake brake afterwards. But like a GPS, it's man-made. Jake brakes do go out. It's not that often. They don't go out that often, but they do go out. What happens when the time that it does go out on you, you spent your first six months training, driving, all you ever did is use a jake brake. Now you're coming down cabbage, Donner, the grapevine, Parley's, Elk Mountain, Sisters, Vail, Eisenhower, any of these mountains, and the jakes go out. Are you gonna Are you gonna feel confident and secure enough in your driving ability to drive that truck down that hill without the jakes if you've never been taught or shown how to do it properly? You should be able to go down any one of these mountains that that I that I have named, or any other mountain in the United States without jakes, and without having to touch your brake more than two or three times all the way down and keep your truck under control. And if you're taught properly how to do that without the jakes, 
It makes it even easier to go down these hills without ever touching your brakes at all and that having the Jake brake do all the work. Simple. But some trainers are, I'm not going to say lazy, maybe they don't know themselves. Maybe they weren't taught when they started driving. And maybe at that point you need to find someone else to teach you these skills. The, this is an essential skill for, for a truck driver. Because like I said, Jake's will go out sooner or later. I've had it happen to me twice in 20 years. I know other drivers who drove 30 years, that's never happened to them. But when I started driving, I started driving a truck that didn't have Jake, so I had to learn without them. So when I trained, that's how I trained. And the, the feedback I've gotten from the students that I've trained in the past is they have thanked me for it today. The more knowledge you have about your trade, your skill, and your job, the more proficient you could be about going about it, the safer you and the community and the world will be. Three months into driving, you get put in your own truck, you come down the hill for the first time, you've always done it with Jake, Jake goes out. You're going to be a little nervous, a little scared. You're nervous to go down the hill on your own to begin with when it's the first hill that you're going down without your trainer. Then did Jake's quit working? Uh-oh. No reason to put that added stress onto you in that situation. So learn to drive the truck without Jake's. These are just a few tips that I, I've been thinking about after talking to some new drivers in the industry that I put out. I got a list of more. I'm going to make some more short videos today. Um, and I'll be putting them up here in the next few weeks as we go. I'm not going to post all the videos in one day, but I will post one or two tonight, maybe one or two tomorrow. Thank you for watching. You can catch us on at Facebook. You can also email us at mark.bennett36 at gmail.com if you have any questions or concerns, or if you would like me to give you my opinion in my 20 years experience on a certain subject. I will not say my way is 100% the correct way, but I got 20 years safe driving. Be safe out there, drivers.